Hello everyone. I hope you've had a wonderful Diwali. As you must have read in the title, in this video I want to talk to all of those people who are struggling to clear the express entry cutoff and get the ITA. I am going to talk about the option of immigrating to Canada through study visa instead of coming here as a permanent resident. What can be the pros and cons? We will discuss in this video. We won't be talking about the speculations of changes in the points table. It is being speculated at this moment that more points would be awarded to those who have Canadian work experience and who have studied from Canada. So we won't be talking about it because it is still a speculation. But instead, I'll be suggesting you a totally different route that you have been expecting until now. The study route to Canada instead of coming here as the permanent resident. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Getting the Canadian PR is not a piece of cake anymore. It's getting increasingly difficult every passing month. The CRS cutoff score is sky high at this time and it's very difficult for most of the people to actually test that benchmark. We definitely hope that it will come down, but according to the predictions, we don't expect that it would actually come down to 450s, 440s, 430s. So all of the people waiting in the express entry pool, maybe in early 400s, 430s, 440s, 450s, early 460s, you don't have many options apart from applying through the PNP programs. And I'm pretty sure that many of you can't actually get an invitation from any province or any nomination from any province, it's very difficult to crack a PNP uh, as well. I'm sure you would agree with me. So generally speaking, most of the people at 420s, 430s, 440s uh, would have a bachelor's degree with them because if they had the master's degree and they have CLB9, they would you know, easily cross um, you know, the barrier of 460 or 470. However, there are many other criteria of age, of spouse, but generally speaking, that most of the people would be in that category of having that bachelor's degree. Now, I talked about this option in the last video, and I'm going to talk about this same option in this video as well. Coming to Canada via study visa. I am sure you must have thought once in a while that should you actually go for higher studies or not. I prepared for CAT in India, my friends prepared for GRE, uh, GMAT. Many people have dreams of studying abroad. And this dream can actually make you settle in Canada. I know that you are interested in getting the PR. Um, you're not interested in coming here and on the study visa. But think about your options and the possibilities as well. Let's first quickly talk about the current situation. Because of the pandemic, the Canadian government the Canadian universities and colleges have all suffered huge economic losses. Now, they charge an international student twice or more than twice the fees that of a Canadian citizen or permanent resident. International students bring a lot of money and add billions of dollars to Canadian economy. So I'm pretty sure that in 2021, the Canadian government, uh, the universities, the colleges, everybody would want that they should travel as early as possible and the courses should resume. So talking of the chances of your application getting approved from a college or a university or your study visa getting approved would definitely increase next year. Now this was from the perspective of the government, the economy, uh, colleges, universities, visa, etc. Now let's talk about your perspective. What are the pros and the cons of taking this study route to Canada? For many of you, when you initially thought of immigrating to Canada, then you thought that you will get the PR, you thought that you would get a job here and then eventually settle down here in Canada. But now, taking this route of getting the student visa would be a long way to get the PR. I am pretty sure it's a long way. But think about it, it's a definite way. At the moment, do you think that you have chances to immigrate to Canada, get the PR anytime soon? If not, you can think of this way. Now, I am not advocating that just to get the PR, you should study in Canada. 
but I'm just telling you from the pros and the cons perspective. So there would be many benefits. Obviously, it would be much more knowledgeable because you would have one more degree. Degree does not mean a piece of paper. It means the one year of education, at least one year, right? So you would have much more knowledge. You would be more skilled, which would definitely help you getting a better job here in Canada. When you're here, you'll get to know the place better. Obviously, you'll get to know uh, where you can find the job. You'll get all of that time as well. You'll get to meet people. You'll get to make connections as well. All of this would eventually help you settle here in Canada. The employers as well definitely like that you have passed on from a Canadian college or a university. So you would have that Canadian experience. When they say of Canadian experience, the, one of the biggest problems in finding your first job in Canada, many people say that, then Canadian experience is nothing apart from the soft skills. You get all of the, that soft skills uh, while you're doing your summer internship or while you're studying here in Canada, doing your part-time job, you get all of that Canadian experience as well. Apart from that, talking from the perspective of getting the PR as well, many PNP programs have got different streams for students who have passed out from their province. However, when we talk of immigrating to Canada, getting the permanent residency, citizenship, work permit is not our ultimate aim. Mainly, we want to live here. We want to settle down here. Trust me, if you have the work permit or if you have the permanent residency, that would not make any difference. When you're living here in Canada in your day-to-day -day life, it won't make any difference whatsoever. Now, once you come here on a study visa, you can get a work permit after that. And obviously, once you work here, you can also apply for the permanent residency as well after one year of uh, working here in Canada. So eventually, you'll get the permanent residency if that is your ultimate aim. But getting the permanent residency, I don't think that that is an ultimate aim for anyone. All of those benefits that Canada has to offer. So all of those benefits you'll definitely get if you come here on a study visa, then transfer it to uh, the work permit then transfer that to the permanent residency or maybe even to the citizenship however coming on a study visa as i told you would have many other benefits apart from uh, getting the permanent residency on the later stage now these were some of the pros talking of the cons they're not many cons yes you would have to spend a lot of money for your higher education here in canada there'd be a lot of struggles in the initial days you have to spend a student life. Maybe not many people are prepared for it uh, now. There would be a longer way to the permanent residency. Maybe you might be thinking that, okay, I might get a perm uh, PNP um, you know, invitation soon and I would come here next year as a permanent resident. It would be on a longer run, but as I told you earlier, it would not matter too much. Once you, hear, once you come here on a, a visitor visa, you would get the work permit, you would then get the permanent residency, then, then you can also get the citizenship as well. All right, now taking that decision of coming to Canada on a study visa, studying here for a couple of years and then moving on to get a job might not be easy for everyone. If I place myself in your shoes, it might be very difficult for me at this point in my life. Maybe for some people who are single, Maybe for some people who are 25, 26, 27, 28 years of age, it might be very easy. But for someone who is uh, 33, 34, 35, uh, who might be married, for someone uh, who might be expecting a baby or already might have a baby, it might be a very difficult decision. So I want you to think wisely about this thing. Now, everyone is different from one another. Everyone's circumstances are different from another person. I can't make a video for everyone for each specific circumstance but yes I just wanted to make this generic video uh, to give this idea to many of you guys who are actually waiting in the express entry pool only to get exhausted to frustrated every alternate week to see that the cutoff score goes high uh, you know if you want you can think of this option you can explore this option more I am sure you would have many questions in your mind, many technical questions like uh, can your spouse come to Canada on the work permit while you are here on the study visa, uh, maybe about the your PR application, what if you get uh, the PNP invitation while your study visa is in progress or you've got the study visa. So there would be a bunch of questions that you might have. To be very frank with you, I'm not an immigration consultant or a lawyer. So 
I'll try to do my research on it and meanwhile you can also do your research on your questions please let me know your questions I'll try to do um, my research and create another video on it but yes through this video I just wanted to uh, you know give this idea to you guys that coming to Canada through the study visa route might be beneficial instead of waiting in the express entry pool so thanks a lot for watching this video guys i just hope that you like the video uh, like the advice if you did please click the thumbs up button if you have any comments any feedback please put them down in the comment section below and yes if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please subscribe my channel so that you can regularly get updates about my new videos thanks a lot for watching this video